hi everyone. I'm Allison. I'm going to be teaching you some signs that go along with the song Guide My Feet. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with the song, I will be telling you the phrase and then I'll be showing you the signs that go along with it. Now keep in mind that this song um, could be interpreted a few different ways. This is just the way that I came up with. Um, so, okay, let's get started. <clears throat> so the first phrase of the song is guide my feet while I run this race. Okay, so the signs that I chose to do were guide me for the rest of my life. Okay, so I'll break it down. So the sign for guide, you're going to take your non-dominant hand, okay, just in this shape. Could be this, could be this, could be this. This is just what feels natural for me. Do what feels natural for you. And then the sign for guide can be done a couple different ways. I'll show you some options, and then you just do whatever feels most natural when you try it. Okay, so you've got your non-dominant hand. Then we've got our dominant hand, okay? I'm gonna show you first the way that I was taught and the way that I do it. So what I do is I take my thumb and my middle finger and my ring finger, and they, I bring them together like this. I grab the tips of my fingers and I guide. Okay, and I guide. Let me show you from a couple different ways. And I guide. Okay. So you're just guiding it away from your body. So another way you can do the sign for guide is you could clasp your hand. You could guide this way. That is also perfectly acceptable. You could use one finger, guide. I think sometimes I've done that when I've been signing in a hurry. <laughs> the guide. Um, but yeah, so there's a couple different ways you can sign it. Just do whatever feels the most natural when you practice for yourself. So guide, and then me, you're just pointing with your pointing finger to yourself. Me. Guide me. Now the next part, <clears throat> you're going to take your non-dominant hand. It's going to be close to your chest. Take your dominant hand, just place it right on top. Same shape, you're just placing it right on top, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your dominant hand and kind of bring it forward. You're just going to bring it forward. It can be kind of long, it can be drawn out, it can be quick. Um, but you just bring it forward, okay? Okay? So this means, this literally translates to like from right now, going forward. But in this instance, we're using it to mean for the rest of my life, okay? So this would be like for the rest of, and then life. So life, you make two L's, and you start at the tummy, which you can't see because of the camera, it's not that low, but you start there at the bottom, and you just bring them up, okay? You bring them up. You could slide it up your body, you could Start here and then just kind of bounce them up. I tend to bounce them up. You can slide it whatever way feels comfortable for you, but it's life bringing them up. Okay? So that whole phrase is guide me for the rest of my life. Okay? And then the refrain says for I don't want to run this race in vain. So what I took that, and like I said, this could be interpreted many, many different ways. But for me, that sentence meant, I don't want to run this race, I don't want to go through life, only to end up alone, without Jesus, without God. So that's what I took it to mean, so that's what we're going to roll with. So that part is, we're going to sign, don't want, alone, okay? Now the sign for want, when you want something in sign language, you simultaneously bring in your elbows back and curling your fingers up, kind of like you're, you're grabbing onto something, right? That's when you want something, okay? You're grabbing it and bringing it towards you. But when you don't want something, you throw it back. I always find that's a pretty easy way to remember don't want, so you don't want it don't want. When you don't want something, you you can add some facial expression, shake of your head, or, you know, add a face. It's really fun. Like, ASL is really great. You play around with the face, and um, 
Yeah, so don't want. You don't want it. And then the sign for alone is just your pointing finger. Alone. Just go on either side of your mouth. I start on my right side because I'm right-handed. But you could sign it this way. Either way makes sense. Okay? Alone. I'm just starting it about here. I just bring it down. And then I bring it down again. Second verse is hold my hand while I run this race. So for hold my hand, um, and in sign language, in sign language, um, Jesus and God are placed in different areas of space. So usually we have God is over here to the left, and then Jesus is over here to the right. So if you, so that's why I'm going to be motioning this way, because that's where I put Jesus. He's up here, he's above me. That's kind of um, the way that it's, it's done in, in church signs. So Jesus, he's up there, and he's coming down to walk with me. Okay, so then you just move them together. So and then Jesus is signed like this. With your middle finger, you touch, okay? You just touch the palm. So Jesus, and then bring him down. And then he's walking with you for the rest of your life. So Jesus, bring him down. He's walking for the rest of my life. Jesus, bring him down. He's with you for the rest of my life. Now the refrain, remember, for I don't want to run this race in vain, is being interpreted into sign language as I don't want to be alone. So here's another way that you can play with signs in ASL. So instead of saying don't want alone, instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna show, we've got our Jesus here and this is you. You're walking and all of a sudden, you're alone. You don't want it. Alone, you don't want. Okay? So the next verse says, I'm your child while I run this race. So remember how I said that we place Jesus up to the right in this area over here? So when we do this sign, we're going to show that we are connected. I'm your child. I'm connected to you. So to sign that, you're going to make, take your thumb and your middle finger, okay? You're gonna make a little circle with them and you're just gonna link these together, okay? Kinda looks like a chain, okay? So, Jesus and me, we're connected, okay? So I'm kind of showing, with this sign, I'm showing that the connection is between me and Jesus. We're connected. We're connected forever. We're connected forever. So. And then forever is, this is the sign for always, and then you continue it. Okay, so it's always, and then flip it to a Y, keep it going. Okay? It'll get better with practice, I promise. I'm your child while I run this race. I'm your child while I run this race. I'm your child while I run this race. Now remember how I told you that um, the refrain was, you don't want to be alone? So what we're going to do is we're going to play with those signs again. So we're going to show the connection and then we're going to break it. Okay? Because we don't want that. We don't want our connection broken. Don't want. Don't want. Okay? And show it on your face too. Show it with when it breaks, right? That's awful. Oh, don't want. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> so, the last verse is stand by me while I run this race. So, what I did was support me for the rest of my life. So, the same for support. So you're going to take your non-dominant hand, make a fist. 
your dominant hand make a fist. And then all you do is you just, you, you bring your non-dominant hand to it to show that you're, you're holding it up, you're supporting it. <laughs> you're quite literally supporting it, okay? Okay, so support me for the rest of my life. Support me for the rest of my life. Support me for the rest of my life. And me, here I am. I'm alone. I'm alone. I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay? So that's what you're going to do for the refrain. So support me for the rest of my life. Down to the refrain. For I don't want to run this race in vain. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoy signing the song with us. And all right.